Hello and welcome to the Business Today Show. I'm Uday Mukherjee. I've got a special guest for you on the show today, one of the great entrepreneurs of India who turned a family business or broke away from a family business to create what is one of the most enduring FMCG brands the country has seen over the last few decades. The one and only Harsh Mariwala, chairman of Marico, is with me today. Harsh, it's uh, well, great to see you on the show and uh, wonderful to catch up after such a long time. Thank you, thank you Uday and uh, great talking to you after a long, long time but uh, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you and you know, the first question I want to ask you is, you know, there's so much to talk about with you but on reflection, how do you assess your own career in the last four decades and how it's panned out? I mean, if you were told as a young man that this is how it will pan out, would you say that on reflection you would say, I would take it, the lot that I've had, what I've created over the last few decades? In short, the answer is yes, but uh, let me go delve a little deeper in terms of what I had expected of myself and how it has turned out. So, first of all, when I was in college, I'm just a graduate. I have not yeah. done anything beyond uh, my BCom, Bachelor of Commerce, and uh, I was forced to join into the family business. I was absolutely clear that I was not going to work for anybody else, and I had to run my own business. So, from that point of view, full marks, I never worked for anybody else. And I joined the family business at a, at a very young age of 40, uh, 20, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I built this business of consumer products virtually from a scratch. So I think that was my first experience in, uh, in uh, building a business. And it has been very, very rich because I had to learn everything from the bottom. Uh, it was a completely family manager organization. There were no professionals, so nobody to teach me. We were not in consumer products. Uh, so I had to start from virtually from the bottom. I had to travel into rural areas, appoint distributors, stay with distributors in small towns where there were no hotels. When we appointed an ad agency, I mean, the first thing I said, I want to spend one week with you in terms of how advertising is created. So I think that experience of learning everything from the bottom has really helped me in terms of understanding how things work at the bottom. And from then on the business grew and a lot of issues with the family, large family, my father, three of my uncles and then followed by five of my cousins in the same company made it very complex. So how do you untangle yourself in a, in a large family was a big challenge for me which uh, I took two to three years. I had to show a lot of patience, but ultimately that also worked yeah. out and that led to formation of Marico in the year 1990, uh, which gave me a fantastic uh, opportunity to build a culture of uh, FMCG company, uh, recruit the right talent and then over a period of time scale the business. So all in all, I have made many, many, many mistakes, many mistakes, but uh, it's been very rewarding. I wish I could have, uh, somebody could have taught me how not to make some of the mistakes, but net net I don't have any regrets. I think overall I'm feeling good that I was able to start from a scratch and build a company of good repute and then ultimately pass it on to, to a professional. So the company has turned from a owner managed company to a strategic investor yeah. driven company. 